What's up everybody, it's Seth from Fowler Customs and today I'm reviewing the brand new Dornbecker 7. Thanks so much for tuning in guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet, but with all that being said, let's get into it. First off, it's freaking freezing in New York and uh, my heater doesn't work, so that explains the winter, the winter get up in my room. It is what it is. So in addition to today being really, really cold, it was also a really great day because out of nowhere, I got these guys. Basically it was a come up of the month, for me at least, and that's because I just happened to walk into Kith Manhattan and they were just sitting on the shelf. The Dornbecker 7s were sitting on the shelf at Kith. Kith has always been one of those places where if not everyone picks up their raffle tickets, they kind of put the shoe out but put it in a kind of like sort of hidden place. So on the Mondays after releases, you usually end up finding some crazy stuff. And today was no exception. But enough with how I got these guys, let's get into the box itself. Of course the shoes come in this almost sky blue Dornbecker freestyle box. You've got that text on the top of the box in this gloss embossed print. You've got Dornbecker written in white on both sides. And if you don't know, Dornbecker is a children's hospital that Nike works with every year. And they come out with a line of sneakers designed by some kids at the hospital. And it's usually a really cool set of shoes. Not only are the shoes really coveted and pretty limited, but Nike also don't donates all the proceeds from the shoes directly to the Dornbecker Hospital. But moving on to the size tag, I got a size 9.5 which is half a size larger than my regular shoe size and that's only because this was the smallest size that they had at Kip. So I was kind of stuck with whatever size they gave me. Of course it has a suggested retail price of 190 bucks US. And here they are, the Air Jordan 7 Dornbecker. Or you can call them DB7s or Dornbecker 7s. It doesn't really matter that much. But right off the bat, this is one of my favorite Air Jordan Dornbecker collaborations. And that's mainly because of the colorway. A lot of the recent Air Jordan Dornbecker collabs and actually some of the previous ones have been really crazy and really off the wall. And it's not that I don't like what the shoe is trying to do and what the kids design but the color for me was just a little too much. For this particular one though, there's still a lot of detail, there's still a lot going on, but it's nice and subtle because it's got such a simple black and red colorway. So this particular shoe was designed by a kid named Damian Phillips. He was diagnosed with hemophilia, and he's a really big Chicago Bulls fan, and he loves to play guitar. So as you can tell, he based the colorway on Chicago Bulls colors. The upper of the shoe is made up with black and red leather. These areas here are made up of dark red, but they have black in the creases of the tumbled leather. It gives the red sort of a worn and rusty look, which I really like. The toe area is a little bit different. It's got the same red that you have on the sides, but it fades into a black towards the tongue. One really interesting part of the shoe that's really subtle, and you probably wouldn't notice it unless you're looking for it, is the black area around the laces and leading into the heel. This finish is actually pretty shiny and marbleized, and the reason for that is because Damien based it on some pick guards on electric guitars. I really like this detail because as I said before, it's really subtle and it doesn't hit you right in the face when you're looking at the shoe. It kind of takes you a second to see it, and I dig that. Moving up the shoe, you've got these standard flat black laces. One really cool touch is that you've actually got Damien's initials on this pick-shaped lace lock on the bottom lace of the shoe. Not only that, but it's actually got some gold flakes in there, which kind of give it this nice sparkle. Of course, at the end of the laces, you've got these gold metal lace tips. The tongue itself is actually made up of this velvety corduroy material. I think they chose this material to mimic strings on a guitar, but I'm not totally sure about that one. And of course, like all Air Jordan 7s, you've got Air Jordan on the top of the tongue. In this particular pair, it's in gold. Moving back on the shoe, you've got the Jumpman in gold, and because it's more of a metal material, they gave it this plastic cover so it wouldn't scratch. I'll take it off eventually if I don't forget. Moving to the back of the shoe, you've got this really cool pull tab that has these metallic dots that change color in the light. And one feature that Damien was really excited about was that instead of the regular Air Jordan 7 logo on the back of the shoe, it's actually got his own logo with his initials and a guitar. That's really cool of the designers at Nike to incorporate that. That's a nice touch. Inside the shoe, you've got this black insole, which in white says, just play, have fun. Moving down the shoe, you've got this really nice black midsole broken up with these gold peaks. I really dig the gold touches on this shoe. They're not too much, but they're just enough to make the shoe pop. And finally, moving to the bottom of the shoe, you've got this really cool icy outsole. And as you can see, each shoe has a cartoon of Damien playing guitar. And of course, he's wearing the Air Jordan 7s. That's, that's really cool. That's really, really cool. Overall, this is a really, really well-executed Dornbecker collaboration. They did a great job on this. Personally, I wouldn't say this is my favorite Dornbecker, but it's up there in the top three. This really looks like an Iron Man Air Jordan 7. It looks really sick. Now that we've got the review out of the way, let's throw these guys on feet and see how they look. That's pretty much it for the video guys. Make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know which pair of Dornbeckers is your favorite. 
I think for me, my favorite pair is the Dornbecker 9s. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to Fowler Customs if you want to see more content just like this. And follow Fowler Customs and all other forms of social media.